Hello everyone, I hope that you're doing well and welcome back to another craft fair vlog. So if you're new here, I'm Shannon and I'm big tractor <laughs> and I'm a pet portrait and wildlife artist and I specialise in coloured pencils. So if that's something you're interested in, then please do stick around. But yeah, I've got a craft fair on Sunday and it's at Brock Hall's Nature Reserve, which is the first place that I ever did a craft fair this time last year. And I actually vlogged that, so I will link it for you to go and watch it if you'd like to. Um, I feel like I've learned a bit more since I did it last time and I've got a few more extra bits to take with me to see if it makes a difference. So I just thought I would vlog it and see how it goes and give my feedback on it. So at my last craft fair, which was at the Hodder Valley Agricultural Show, I mentioned that um, I wanted to break the ice a little bit and try and encourage people to come and have a look because I felt like people were a bit afraid to come up to the stall and I didn't want them to feel like that. So I'm going to take my drawing board with me and a drawing to work on while I'm there. So I actually need to get on with a drawing that I'm going to take with me. Uh, I'm going to draw my cat, I think, because I don't want to take a commission, it's the time of year where I'm working on Christmas commissions so I don't want to take a Christmas commission in case first of all it gets ruined, somebody like spills something on it or second of all in case the person that it's for just happens to see it. I know it's probably very unlikely but I just don't want to take that risk. So I'm going to start a drawing of my cat and take it with me and hopefully it will encourage people to come and have a little look and it helps to explain a bit more obviously that all of the work that I have is made from coloured pencil drawings. So yeah, that is the first thing that I'm doing differently this time and I've ordered some cards. I've not ordered a lot of new stuff this time because I've just moved out into the new house and things are a little bit expensive this month and I've already got quite a bit of stock that I had last time that um I could use so I just didn't think it was worth ordering like loads and loads of stock but I have ordered a few Christmas card designs I've got the Robin one from last year and I've also got a new polar bear one which I will show you I think I was working on it in my last vlog my last studio vlog so you might have seen it there but I did finish it finally and I'm gonna take that with me so I've not actually unwrapped the cards they've arrived I ordered them like way ahead of time because Royal Mail have been doing a lot of strikes recently and I didn't want to risk them not coming in time so that's something to be aware of if you're doing any craft fairs this like autumn winter season there's a lot of Royal Mail strikes and yeah I'll show you these cards so I get the craft envelopes and I also get the compostable sleeves and here are the designs. I've ordered some more of the stag design because I was running low on those and there can be a Christmas card I think if you want them to be. So I also got my little Robin Christmas cards from last year on the little tap, I like that. I got some more of these hair cards because again, was running out of them and they're a very popular design. A lot of people love hers. And I've also got a little polar bear Christmas card design. I'm so happy with how that's come out. I was a little bit nervous because, I don't know, it just didn't look nice when I scanned it in. It just wasn't looking like the drawing, but now that I can see them as a card, I think they look really cute. So I think that's enough. It's it's still only October. Um, I know people like to buy Christmas stuff earlier and earlier every year, so I did want to have a little bit, but I didn't want to go like full on Christmas. Um, I still would like to work on a few more designs for my November craft fair, but for now, I think that will do. So I'll probably wrap them up later on today. So this is the photo of Charlie that I'm going to draw. It's very him. He's, he's got his little white whisker his bright green eyes that you can see clearly and his little fluffy tufty mane <laughs> that's like got a bit of a grey colour to it. So I think this will be quite eye-catching because of the green eyes so yeah I think this will be a good one to do and there's no pressure to finish it or to like make sure that it doesn't get damaged and I think should it all go well I'm going to give it to my mum and dad as a Christmas present so yeah, I'll get on with doing the outline now. 
I think I might use this as an opportunity to try the new Archie's watercolour paper that I've ordered. I haven't tried this yet, but I'm on a paper hunt at the moment, so let's see if this is something that I end up liking. Okay, I've done the outline now using my tracing paper method. I'll link the video below where I talk you through how to do the same with your drawings. And I think I'm going to leave it there for today. I'll do some of the colour another day, but I need to go and get on with like my normal day to day bits and bobs now. So I'm happy with that. I think it looks really good. I'm excited to get started on my gorgeous little Charlie. <laughs> Hello, it's now Wednesday and I've got about half an hour while I'm importing a video for Patreon just to package up my cards. So I'm going to get that done now so that they don't get damaged. I'm in the process of painting this table sage green and it's taken me absolutely forever. So there's bits of it that are still like the mahogany colour and bits that are actually painted. So I'm sure you don't mind anyway. I don't know why I'm even saying this, but yeah, I'm gonna just package these up now. Usually like it takes me quite a while to do this. I don't know if I'm slow or if it's just one of those jobs that is like a fiddly kind of job. But it is relaxing, so I can't really complain. My mum said uh, when she retired, she's like, I can do all this stuff for you. <laughs> that would be such a big help. She's actually coming with me on Sunday to do the craft fair. She loves doing them, so Let's see if she'll let me film her. I kind of realised that I never actually like show anyone else in these videos really it's like it's just me but I get a lot of help so oh they look really cute I like them So I've got 20 of each Christmas card, which in the grand scheme of things, it's not a lot at all, but it'll do for one day. Thing is, a craft fair can either be absolutely heaving and you're just constantly selling things, or it could be really quiet if it's bad weather. So you don't want to invest too much into stock and then you're stuck with it till the next one. It's kind of finding that like happy middle ground where you've got enough, but you're not stuck with lots of stuff. I think I'm gonna put some music on now, so I will just crack on with this. Right, that's taken me ages. My mum and dad are coming round for tea tonight, so I might see if they'll help me pack my cards and then I can get on with the start of Charlie's portrait now. And then I just have a little bit of something to show. Um, so yeah, I might leave this for now. So I'm just starting the eyes on Charlie's portrait. So far, I do not like this paper. Um, so this is the Archie's hot pressed watercolour paper and I just think it's too textured. I just prefer my paper a bit smoother. But we'll make it work. We'll see. I've only done the tiniest bit yet, so I'm not gonna judge it too soon. But it just reminds me of the new Fabriano. So I'm just gonna get on with this and I'll show you how far I get. We've got a good system going there. <laughs> I did it. Maybe like yours are gonna be done in like way quicker than mine. 
this exact thing, but like where you're doing repetitive things. Well, it's better to do all the same kind of thing at once, isn't it, I suppose? There we go. Yeah. I might do the same. So you're doing all the same hand movements at once, aren't you? And then you can get in a proper rhythm with it. Usually, last time I did this, it took me like two hours, <laughs> maybe longer. So you look, look what I'm doing now, and then what I'll do is I'll bring them round and I'll just do the same. I've hacked it. That's why you need me. I know. Major's my uh, momager. <laughs> oh, no. it's it's like, like, it's gonna it's gonna blow up. Oh no. It's not going to blow up. 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 It's not going to blow then they're the right way up for putting them in the cards. Yeah. So you could even get to that point, couldn't you? I feel like no. you're like next level organised with this. Ah, I knew I'd asked you for a reason. Hello. It's Friday today and I've not got too much to get ready for this craft fair to be honest. I feel like the more that you do the less prep you need to do each time because you're getting into the swing of things and most things you already have so today I'm just going to try and get my last minute bits done. Um, I'm filming at the window because the lighting was so bad over there. Um, so yeah, I have mentioned that I'm going to be taking a drawing with me to demonstrate while I'm there to hopefully bring people in and I have bought a little like fold up table and I've got a drawing board so that should do me well I think for the demonstration. Um, I'll show it you now actually. So this is the table that I've got from Facebook Marketplace. It's actually from the same lady that we, we bought our sofa and chair off, so that was funny. But yeah, it's just like a little fold away side table. I think it's for like putting your drinks and stuff on, but it's just the perfect size for the craft fair and for my drawing board, which has a lot of paint on it. So I need to file this off with a piece of sandpaper and make it all nice and clean and presentable so I'm pleased with how that looks. I've also bought a little um, tablecloth so I might just see how that looks. There we go so I fouled all the paint off it I've actually <laughs> ruined it a little bit because I went against the grain but it's right it's fine I don't know whether it looked better without the tablecloth looks a little bit like frumpy now but yeah I like how well it fits on the table. I didn't think it was going to be big enough. I thought it was too small, but I think it's perfect. So that was a fiver, the table. Five pounds, Facebook Marketplace. Make sure to look there first before forking out on something that are really expensive. Right, we've packed the car. It's the Sunday morning now, so we're going to be on our way. We're on our way to the cafe now. It is Monday after the craft fair and I'm just going to add up all the stock that I have left and compare it to what I had before to see how many of each I sold, which was the best seller and I will let you know how it all went. I sold 43 cards with the hedgehog one being the best seller uh, and I sold four bookmarks with the barn owl one being the best seller. So as far as craft fairs go, 
that's probably not great. I, I've done a lot better at the past two that I did. I just found it was very quiet yesterday, like the room was never full, it was always on the quiet side. And I think I did well considering the amount of people that came in. I think if I hadn't have done that live demonstration, I would have really struggled yesterday. So yeah, it was definitely better last year. I think the weather probably put a lot of people off. The event wasn't very well advertised, like my mum struggled to find it on Facebook and on the website, so they hadn't really pushed it online that much. Most of the people that went, uh, the lady on the stall next to me were asking like, oh, how did you hear about this? And they said, oh, no, we didn't know it were on, we just sort of came for a walk and then stumbled upon it in the visitor's centre. They also had like a Halloween treasure trail event for the kids. So I think that brought people in, but yeah, overall, I don't think people went with the intention of like shopping and buying stuff that day. I'm feeling a bit more hopeful for the next event that I'm doing, which is at Salmsbury Hall and it's a Christmas craft fair. So anyone that goes to that one will just be going with the intention of like Christmas shopping. So I think I'll do a lot better at that one, but yeah, I think, if I was trying to make a living from craft fairs, I would be very disheartened by this one because after I deducted like all my costs, like the £40 that the stall cost and everything else, I made a profit of £56.50, but that doesn't include the cost of the actual products themselves. So you can imagine how much <laughs> I actually made from that craft fair. So they don't always go well, you're not always going to make loads of money, but I at least covered the costs of everything and I see these more as like a networking marketing opportunity, getting my brand out there in front of new people that haven't seen it before and just sort of like spreading the word really. Um, I had a lot more people take leaflets than usual, a lot more commission interest and I think that is because of the drawing that I was doing while I was there. So people were like seeing that I actually do the drawings myself which was a lot better so I'll definitely do that every time I do a craft fair now I think. But I was a little bit disappointed because when I booked the craft fair I asked if I could have like an extra little space for my table that I'd be drawing on and they said yeah no problem um just bring the money on the day to pay for it because I think it was like an extra 10 15 pounds or something when I got there I literally had like this much space next to my table and then there was another table like next to me in the corner and I'm like how am I gonna fit my table in here I don't feel like they've added the extra space even though it said on my um, name tag on the table like demo space um, so I had to try and find someone it was really hard to find the people that worked there and that organized it I eventually found him and he said oh yeah yeah that's your space there which was literally like this big and all that well I'm not going to be able to fit my table in and the lady on the stall next to me isn't going to be able to get out so we had to like shift the tables down a little bit and I eventually got enough room to like squeeze my table in but every time the lady on the stall next to me had to get up I had to move it just it was a bit of a disappointing setup I thought I would have like an extra bit of space to do all that but it was fine I managed to get it in but um, yeah, they didn't ask for any money for that. And I think if they had, I would have said, well, I don't think it's very fair charging me extra when I don't have my own dedicated space that I asked for. So yeah, um, that worked out all right in the end, but these are obviously just things to consider. Not everything always goes smoothly and it isn't always like, you're not always gonna be put in the best place. You might be hidden away a little bit but yeah, I think it was worth doing. I'm glad that I did it. If I get some commissions from it, then it was obviously well worth it. But if I don't, I don't think I'll be rushing back to do that one again because I just found myself feeling a bit like, I don't know, it was a bit slow at points, like just waiting, hoping that somebody would come in. And there were a lot of effort crafters, like, Obviously, the more that you do, the easier they get, but there's a lot of like carrying stuff. It's quite a tiring day, so to not get much from it, it does make you wonder if it's worth it. But yeah, that was my feedback from the day. Let me think if there was anything else that I could feedback on. 
Oh yeah, I had a local photographer that came up to my stall and he said that I could use any of his photos if I just like drop him a message and say, oh, do you mind if I use this photo? So that were really good. Like, that's what I mean when I say these are like a networking opportunity. It opens up opportunities that you wouldn't have had if you hadn't have got yourself out there. So as long as the stall pays for itself, it's a win-win. But if you actually make a little bit of money while you're there, it's like... A really good day so it was good it wasn't great I think the next one will be better so I will make sure to vlog that and we'll find out if it actually is so I hope you have enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions or anything like that Um, make sure to give it a like if you did enjoy it because it really helps me out subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and hopefully I'll see you in the next one so bye for now